Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to reset your default registry permissions to the default settings. So for whatever reason you're having problems with the registry, we're going to show you guys how to restore it back. So this shouldn't be too complicated and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing I would personally suggest would be to create a backup of your registry. So in any case, you have to go back to the previous version, you're more than welcome to. So in order to do that, I'm just going to open up the start menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best man should come back to regedit here, right click on it, and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now in order to create a backup, just go up to the file tab at the top left, left click on it one time, left click on export, and then just save it to somewhere easily locatable, preferably with a file name that will be easy to identify, so perhaps the date in which you're making the backup. Then if you ever had to re-import it, just do file and then import. And that would give you guys the re-imported registry. So if you made any mistakes or errors from it, you're welcome to go back in and just restore it back to what it was. But you guys are here because there is an issue, so probably won't be necessary for most of you guys, but just want to put it out there. So the first thing I'm going to have you guys do is navigate over to this Microsoft website I'm going to have in the description of the video. It's going to be for the sub in ACL file so it's a command line tool and we're going to be downloading it from the Microsoft website here so just left click on the download button to begin the download it's going to ask if you want to run the file or save it depending on what web browser you are using we're going to run it it's going to say welcome to the Windows resource kit tool setup wizard the setup wizard allows you to install sub in acl.exe on your system left click on next Look through the end user license agreement and then proceed with I accept the terms in this license agreement. Left click on next. Take note of where we are installing this in. Most people it should be the same so whatever your Windows drive letter is, in my case it's C. And then it's underneath program files, Windows resource kits and then tools. It's very important just take note of that. It shouldn't be too complicated as well so you probably can still follow along with what I'm showing. Just take note of it because we're going to be navigating over to this in a minute. So just left click on install now to continue on with this process. If you receive a user account control prompt again, left click on yes. And left click on finish to finish with that. Now the next thing you're going to do is open up the start menu, type in notepad. Why don't you just open up a notepad file here. I'm going to have more information paste in the description of the video for sub I and AC1 and there's going to be a whole bunch here so it's probably going to be about 8. There's going to be more in the description than just this so just make sure not to copy anything you don't see on the screen. It should all be lumped together pretty much. should be a space in here as well. That's how it should be in the description of the video as well. So if you just copy it straight out of the description, put it right in here, so just right click and then paste inside of the notepad file, it should do what we need it to. So once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and left click on the file tab up at the top left, left click on save as. Now I'm going to have a specific name, I want you guys to name this file, so I'm going to have that in the description of the video as well. It's going to be fix underscore registry underscore permissions dot bat. And for save as type, you want to click inside this drop down menu and left click on all files. So for the purpose of this video, just so you guys can more clearly see what we're doing, I'm going to save it to my desktop. I feel that that's usually a good place to save this kind of stuff. So once you've saved it as I have set up here, so again, all file types and file name should be exactly what I have in the description for the file name. Left click on save, should save it to the desktop here. So we can close out of here. Now what you want to do is open up File Explorer. So just open up the Start Menu, type in File Explorer or Windows Explorer. You want to get to the screen that looks like this and navigate over to Computer or this PC, depending on what version of Windows you're running on the left pane. Should be a list of hard drives in here. You want to select which one Windows is installed on. Most people should be the C drive. Whatever says local disk is the one you want to go with and it has a little Windows icon above the hard drive. Double click on that. Then you want to go double click on program files. If you guys are picking up, this is the path that I told you to remember earlier. So again, computer, local disk, program files. 
and I'm gonna go underneath Windows Resource Kits right here. Double click on that, and then double click on Tools. Now you see our bat file that I have on my desktop. I'm just gonna drag it right in. So I'm gonna move it to the Tools folder or window you see here. I'm just gonna drop it in. It says you'll need to provide administrator permission to move to this folder. Left click on Continue. So now you want to back out of here. So just so you, so you have the Tools folder. And now you want to hold down the shift key on your keyboard. So again, the shift key, there's two shift keys on every computer. So just left click on one of them, hold it down, and then right click on tools while you're holding down the shift key. Should be an option now that says open command window here. Left click on that. So there you go guys, now we're in here. Now what you want to do is Remember what we named the file, so the fix underscore registry underscore permissions. Just copy that out of my description of my video again, and then go up to the top bar of this command prompt, right click on it, left click edit, and then left click on paste. Once you paste it in, it should begin running this command. You're going to see a lot of text on the screen. Don't be concerned, this just will take a couple minutes to run here. It's just going through all the motions. It's a little interesting just to see what's going on. But currently we can see exactly what files already started with and it's just running through the registry at this time. Okay, so you know it's finished running once you have a blinking cursor at the end here, just a blinking little dot. And honestly, that's about it. So I would go ahead, close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully everything should be good to go. So as always, thank you for watching. Do about was able to help you out, and I also look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.